G'day, Kim Hart here. Welcome to my art class. Today we're going to do a composition in a surreal style. And by the way, excuse my attire or lack of it, it's actually bloody hot here in Queensland, Australia, and um, it's about 90% humidity. So, uh, But don't worry, I'm not going to make a habit of it. So just pick whatever motive and content that you like to do. In this case, I went back to this maritime theme that I've always liked. So we start with mapping out the composition and its major elements. In this case, I, I like that porthole window and the little table in front of it. So we just start penciling it in with pencil or charcoal and just map in all the basic shapes and the whole foundation of, um, of the composition. You should really take your time with this part uh, because it is the foundation of the, of the whole painting. So it doesn't matter how long it takes. You can take a day or two or a few hours, but wait until you're really happy with it. Charcoal or pencil is really handy because you can actually scrub it out and start again. So, so make sure you, you, you map it out to um, the best you can. At this stage, I've picked a dominant colour, which is the blue. It's a phthalo blue that I'm using, um, or whatever you like that suits your composition. And just go over all the lines and all the pencil marks or, or charcoal that you've made and uh, just map it out in, in a good, solid bit of uh, colour. And it's uh, acrylic that I'm using here to, to start it off. Once that's done, we can go into some surreal detail. In this case, I'm thinking waves on the table, and we'll see where that gets me to. Is that real water, or just some crinkles on the tablecloth?
Okay, now it's time to get rid of all that white canvas. So I'm going to put a nice light wash of blue, lots of white in it, um, and, and just tone that blue right down. So we can just cover all the white canvas, get rid of that, and put that whole blue colour right through the painting just to tie it all together.
Now it's looking quite opaque at the moment, but remember it's acrylic and it will dry darker. So um, we're going to come back to this tomorrow and see where we can go from there. Okay, g'day, this is um, the acrylic base I put down yesterday. Um, so it's just phthalo blue, titanium white, um, in different shades. So I've just mapped all that out, and got it just the way I want it with acrylic, because acrylic's so easy and versatile, it dries in five minutes, so it's really, really handy. Um, so now this is the transition from acrylic to oil. So I've got some glazing gel, oil-based glazing gel, I'm going to put some Prussian blue down there with this. So I'm just going to give it a whole new look. It's just I'm just going to rub this stuff all over it and then take it away. So the glazing gel is really good and it just sets out a nice even um, color tone all over the board, the canvas, and I'll mix this right up really nice. Um, so I've let this dry overnight, the acrylic, so it's nice and dry and ready to, to get some real colour on it. So this will this will just give it a really even, beautiful base for me to start attacking it with the oils. So a bit of terps. It's a bit scary sometimes. But it's cool, we'll work it out. So the acrylic's obviously going to be totally, totally dry. It's funny, it feels a bit like you're destroying the painting, but it's not as good. So these um, glazing mediums, are, um, they're available in any art shop. You get different mediums, gels type things. So. rags okay. messy and a bit stinky.
So it's nice, light pressure now. And I just want to leave those edges, the four corners, just with a little bit of the heavier, heavier glaze. So it frames it up nice. Let's lighten all this right up there. You see, it just pulls the whole thing together. It's great, great little technique, this one. So we go over it with oils now and everything behind it just glows. So it's just gonna hold the whole painting together. And because the stretcher's got little bars behind it, you don't want to push too hard because you'll get strike. And if you get strike, you'll get the lines coming through. So it's really light, light pressure. So this stuff goes off pretty quick, so you can't muck around too much. But that's just nice. I love it. Look at it. Yes, it's already gone really, really tacky. So um, we don't want to play with it too much now. So let that go off for, I don't know, four hours or something. So it gets tacky and dries off really, really quick, this stuff. So, cause it's got like a thixotropic gels and stuff like that in it, which helps it to go off. So, and generally oils take ages, but with this glazing medium, we're in business pretty quick. Happy days. So now I can come along and start, uh, once it's dry, of course, we'll come back to this shortly, but just start putting the shades, all the shadows in underneath all these and up along the side here. You're just starting to build it up slowly with, with all the shadows and all your dark sort of, I'm just gonna start with blues right through on this. And once I've got them in, start playing with some highlights, get excited. Okay. G'day. So here we are, ready to put some beautiful, oh, we've got a sunspot on there. But um, this is nice and dry. Uh, I've had to leave it go overnight just to get really, really dry. So now we can start putting all this, um, um, I'm just gonna put all the shadows in where we need it. And you see this over the next uh, um, little while and where all, the, where all the shadows and the deep darks go, we'll put all that in, then we're gonna highlight it and it's just gonna come to life. So um, it's a nice dry, dry finish on it now. So that glaze, it actually dries really, really hard and fast. So um, we can just attack it just with oils now. And um, I'm just gonna use Prussian blue, just a bit of Prussian blue. Um, we'll keep it nice and dry on the brush, not too much turps or anything. And that way I can just, just apply it and put all our shadows and shading in and I can wipe it back with the tissue. So this is a good, exciting part coming up now. Um, and we'll start bringing it to life. Okay, cheers.
and voila, we have waves on the table. A little bit bizarre, but anyway, it doesn't matter, it's a good subject. I'm gonna call it Lighthouse, the Lighthouse. So I'm gonna whack a little lighthouse up here. Maybe a little boat floating on the table. Let's go with the waves. And we'll get a couple of um, a couple of studs in here along through these pieces and around the, the porthole. Bob's your uncle. Looking good, looking good. But you can see how that was just so simple, just, just using the shade really, really soft. And because that lacquer had dried, the glazing agent had dried so well, and really hard, totally dry before I do any of this, that way I can get a tissue now and I can rub that whole lot out, all that shading. It's, it's um, really quite workable for a while. Um, yeah, so we just knock back all the hard edges and soften all this stuff up. Voila, looking good. Okay, so what I've done here, I've just outlined the little lighthouse just with a bit of Prussian blue with a thin brush and then put the little boat in. So now I'll just colour them in with a little bit of white and put some shade on later. So um, yeah, just lined it out like a, like a pencil sketch really. So um, we'll get a bit of paint on and see how we go. Just thin that down with a little bit of turps just to get it nice and flow. Okay, so this is just straight up white, just titanium white. Um, so I'm just blocking it in between all these little lines. And what I'll do later on, um, when this dries off, I'll be over to just add a little bit of shade and shadows and make it really interesting because the light source is obviously going to be coming through from this um, porthole here. So we'll be able to catch all this light with all the shadows, like I've added the shadows all through this part, and um, it's gonna come to life. It's gonna look really good. Just simple little tricks. So I'll probably put a couple of coats of this white on.
So this is um, actually Alcad, um, it's got Alcad resins in this particular brand of paint, which allows it to dry really, really quick. So a lot of oils can take days to dry, but this stuff is magic. So it's Alkyd, A-L-K-Y-D, um, Alkyd resins mixed into the paint. So it has a thing called a Thixotropic gel. Sounds a bit technical, but um, yeah, it dries off really quick. So it's getting quite late now. Um, by tomorrow morning, this will be dry as a bone. So I'll give it another coat and it'll be quite warm tomorrow here on beautiful Tambourine Mountain in Queensland, Australia. So um, if I give it another coat in the morning, it'll dry off within an hour or two with the nice warm weather. And um, then I can start, uh, start putting all these shadows and tones and whatnot. So we'll just block it all in like this. It's starting to come to life. And by thinning it out with a bit of mineral terps, it just flows a bit easier. And I'll do the same with the lighthouse up here in a moment too. Just block it all in with white. And we'll make it fancy tomorrow. It's always good to do this before you have a couple of glasses of red wine. To keep the hand steady. Look at that. It's starting to come good. This is a nice little brush. It's a number six. It's just a long round. Um, it's just a synthetic sable. It's got a nice fine tip. So we can get a nice little line in there, but if you push it harder, they'll flatten out into a nice bigger area to get a bit more paint on when you need it. And that'll do, not too fancy, just enough, just block it in, and then tomorrow we'll attack it.
I just had a really good thought. I'm actually gonna, gonna whack a bit of red in here. Tomorrow, once we tidy it all up, just a little bit of red here and maybe a red roof here. And it's gonna jump out like no man's business. Some rocks. So once again tomorrow when I come back this will all be dry so we'll um, introduce a bit of shape into these rocks. I'm just putting these jolly things anywhere really just to get that little bit of form and shape into the into the headland. So the light source is going to be coming from this way from the whole painting. This is why we've got the shadow on this side of the painting and underneath there on the other side of the waves. Here we've got the shade on one side so we can tidy these rocks up tomorrow and they'll, they'll come up really good. Some little white caps, some waves. And that's the beauty of having this beautiful glaze when I first put this whole wash on, it just seals everything. So, you know, if you do make a little bit of a blue, you can sort of wipe it off or get a bit of tissue and take it away again. It's not too, not too bad. It's pretty forgiving. All right, happy days. I'm going to leave that and let that sucker just dry off nicely. We'll come back and rip into it tomorrow. Okay, so now we've put the second coat of white over all this. So I'm just going to start putting some shades, some shadows in here and give this little boat a little bit of form. So the light source is obviously coming through the porthole, the window. So we're just going to try and capture a bit of this shading here so it's just that little bit of Prussian blue we can wipe that back off nice and gentle
and that just gives it a nice little bit of form, a bit of shape. Beautiful, and that's going to cast a shadow here off the mast as well. There we go. Just a little bit around here. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. So that just gives shape and form and a little bit of a nice feel. I like that. Beautiful. And now we can head up to the lighthouse. So I might just put a little bit, just a little bit under here. Okay, so a nice little bit of shade there. Just giving it a little bit of a nice look. So now we're going to change it all up. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of red. Some nice cadmium red light. So just a bit of colour. Change the blue. So, yeah, everything's blue except for this little bit of red on the lighthouse. I think that's going to look nice. It's 
make it jump right out. So it's cadmium red light, so it's nice and bright. And I think that looks so good. We'll keep it going. It's just that little hint of colour. Okay, so we just want to add a little bit more detail. So I'm going to swap brushes here. I'm going to use this nice little fine. This is zero, but this is great. I love this brush. It's um, size zero, but it's it's got a really long bristle, so it's a good little reservoir. So we can do some nice fine bits like that. There we go, just that little bit of detail makes a big difference.
And it looks a bit dark and horrible, but uh, hopefully, there you go. Just take them back off a bit. A little bit of shape into the waves, into the water, a few ripples. And once again, it's just that Prussian blue, and it's just so easy to work. Just give it a little bit of break that plane part up there. So, okay, and then we'll pop a few rivets and things around the edges. You just see these little tiny bits of detail make a big difference. Pop a little bit of highlight on them. Yeah. Just a little bit of that titanium white mixed with the um, the Prussian blue. Just to help make them jump out a little bit.
And I love the little bit of shade on that sailboat. It's just all it takes. It's a very simple painting. Not too technical. But the blues, I just love this blue. It's great. So the acrylic part on the base was a phthalo blue, as I said. And everything in the oil has just been finished off with Prussian blue. I think the Prussian blue over the top, it just gives, yeah, it's just a nice little combination. Works well. So there we have it. So all I need to do now is, var um, well, I'll varnish it later, but we'll sign it off. I'm pretty happy with that. It's got a nice, nice feel to it. So I'll get a bit of dark paint on here. So I just thin that out with turps. So it's nice and fluid on the brush. Nice little fine brush, so it comes off nice. And there we go. Happy days. So that's a really, really nice, nice little painting, the lighthouse. Hope you enjoyed all that. Hope you learnt something. Thanks very much.